Electric rates are up more than 40% since 2020. Yeah, 40%. In this video, I'm gonna be teaching you three tried and tested ways that you can reduce your electric bill. I'll show you proof of how effective they are and how much savings you can expect from each of them. The smarter way to go solar. Okay, so for the first way to cut down your electric bill, I want you to imagine that you have two buckets. One of them is intact, while the other one has a couple of holes in it. Which one will take less water to fill up? Okay, you get the idea, right? So the idea here first is we want to invest in making the home as energy efficient as possible before we add solar power to the home. For example, consider upgrading your windows, insulation, or upgrading your heat pump or your air conditioning compressor so that these items can operate at maximum efficiency. Now with this method, you can expect to save 10 to 15% of your energy cost, which will add up over the lifetime of your home. All right, now you might be thinking, Joe, but what are some ways that I can make some significant impact in my electric bill savings. And I'm gonna give you those in the next two points. Now, it's no surprise that electric rates are rising with inflation and with increased maintenance costs. And of course, all these expenses that the utility incurs ultimately get passed down to homeowners and ratepayers. And newsflash guys, these prices aren't going down anytime in the near future. Now, for the better part of the last two decades, I've been helping homeowners save on their electric bills by getting a professionally installed solar power system. Now, there are a few ways that a solar power system can help you save on your electric bill, but the best way to get the best payback is a net metering system. Now, when we talk about a net metering system, what we mean is that your relationship with the power company and your metering, it becomes a two-way relationship. During daylight hours, you can directly power your home using solar electricity, and you can actually push extra solar electricity back to the power company, running your meter backwards, building up credits on your account. So that during the evening hours, when the solar panels are no longer producing, you can spend those credits that you earned during daylight hours. So as long as you send them enough extra electricity during daytime, you can pull electricity in for free at nighttime and it nets out to zero. Now, the one for one net metering is gonna give you the best dollar for dollar payback because all you have to focus on is solar power production. You don't have to store any of the energy. You essentially use the electric grid as your storage and they give you full credit. But unfortunately, what a number of the utilities are doing, particularly in light of California's new net metering 3.0, is they're no longer giving you a full one-for-one -one credit on net metering. And so in some cases, for example, in California, you may have to send the power company three or four kilowatt hours of electricity during daytime for every one that you get to pull back during evening hours. And so in cases like this, where you're not receiving a full one-for-one -one net metering credit, this is where installing battery storage with your solar system makes sense. If you have battery storage with your solar system, you don't really have to worry about buying and selling back and forth with the power company. You simply power your house during daylight hours with solar, whatever extra solar energy you have available, you use that to charge the battery, and then you just run the house off the battery at nighttime, and then the next day the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need. Uh, of course, the other benefit of having a storage battery is that you have secure emergency backup power in the event of a grid blackout, you can run the house day or night using solar and or battery power so that you're fully energy independent and you're backed up in the case of a blackout. Now, I've seen electric bills go from $200 down to $20. I've seen electric bills go from $300 down to $8 at the lowest. And these are just a few examples of how you can save with a solar net metering program or by using solar and batteries so you can directly consume all the solar energy yourself. Now, with all the solar horror stories and a lot of the big solar companies recently going out of business, it's never been more important to choose the right solar installer. Now, folks, I've said this so many times over the years, but I'll say it again. Solar is not one of those things where you wanna shop on cheapest price. Um, this is not a one and done transaction. You buy the solar panels and then you never have to deal with the company again. When you're buying a solar system, when you're investing in a solar power system, it's not just the equipment and the, the initial installation, but it's also the warranty and the production guarantee and making sure you're choosing a company that you have high confidence in that they're gonna be a good partner over the entire 20 or 25 years of the warranty term. By the way, if you're in the process of looking at reputable solar contractors in your area, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or maybe you already have a price quote and just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the best equipment, make sure you're getting the best deal, uh, as always, you can visit us on the link below here. 
uh, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use our free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Now, this year, there's a new category of all-in-one solar power system that's emerging, what I call the semi-DIY system. Uh, it's not a full DIY where you have to piece each part together individually. These are systems where you can purchase the majority of the equipment direct from the manufacturer, saving thousands compared to hiring a full service contractor where you have to pay the contractor markup on the materials. And it essentially allows you as a homeowner to, to take over the project as the project manager, making limited use of help from a roofer or an electrician to make a few final high voltage connections, but where you're essentially directing the project yourself and you can save thousands compared to working with a traditional solar contractor. Now, two of the brands that we've been covering and that I've personally reviewed are EcoFlow and Blue Eddy. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous videos on the new way to install solar with no contractors, go ahead and watch our previous video where we walk you through a hands-on installation uh, of the Blue Eddy EP800 system, which we installed at my partner Dan's house in Virginia. Uh, also, we did another hands-on review on the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, which is probably one of the easiest and fastest to install whole home battery backups. So if you didn't see that video either, make sure you go back and check out that video so you can see just how easy the process is uh, to acquire and assemble one of these all-in-one off-the-shelf solar and battery systems. Now, if you're more of a hands-on person, Person and you don't mind owning the project and owning the responsibility of the warranty, going the semi-DIY solar installation might be the best choice for you. So if that's something you'd like to learn more about, be sure to visit us on the website here below where you can go to the Solar Surge store. We have some special discount codes where we're able to offer you even lower pricing than if you were to buy directly from the manufacturer's website. So make sure you check out that link below. Use the Solar Surge discount code if you'd like to get either of those two systems. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Again, these are three proven ways that you can lower your electric bill. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed so you can stay up to date with everything. Well, I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.